Hey everybody, um, just wanted to share you guys with something. Uh, so as you can see, this is the first wave Frankie Stein in her, all her glory. And what I wanted to share with you is the new, oops, <laughs> there went Frankie, is the new frightfully tall ghoul Frankie Stein. and all her 17 inches of awesomeness. Now, I know a lot of you guys are looking for her online because these dolls, the Frightfully Tall Ghouls, are really hard to find in stores right now. They just came out, and there's only three of them. There's Frankie, there's Claudine, and there's Draculaura. And if you're looking for them online, they, the packaging looks just like the new, um, um, the re, the, the remakes of the first wave ghouls. The boxes look exactly the same, except right at the front it will say "frightfully tall ghouls," and if that they don't have that, then in the corner of the box it'll say "extra tall doll." And these ones are on Amazon right now for I think Frankie is thirty nine ninety four. Claudine is $31.94 and Dracula is $39.99. I know in stores they retail for $29.99, but that's what I, that's what they are on Amazon right now is the $39 and $31. I'm sorry, this one was $30. These one her and Dracula were $34.99. Claudine was $31. I don't know why Claudine's so much cheaper, but she is. Um anywho, this is Frankie beautiful box art and then on the back it has a really beautiful the really beautiful picture of Frankie and it just tells you about her killer style her killer style or her freaky flaw her pet what's it and her favorite activity and I don't know why they did this on here on her artwork they some for some reason they gave her like the tip of her nose this weird red blushing. To me, it looks like she either has a really bad cold, or she's the new Rudolph. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, other things that make her a little bit different is, original Frankie has the blood red lips. Beautiful. Normal earrings. This Frankie has, like, a candy apple red lip. And her eyes are a little bit, little bit different. Her eyebrows are a little bit lighter. But I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to debox her and I will show you guys what she comes with. Okay, so now we're back. And here is Frightfully Tall Ghoul Frankie deboxed. She has really weird box hair. Like, when do you ever get a Monster High doll who has like hair perfect right out of the box? Um, from the way it's packaged, she kind of has a little bit of a wave to it. But she looks just like... Well, first way, Frankie. Except she has, she came with this little teeny tiny bracelet that the other dolls, the other dolls in this line don't don't have. Uh, beautiful reproduction of her original dress. The under the tooling underneath is kind of tucked up. It's like it's just curled up. Um, if you guys have a Goliope, she has the exact same kind of jointing. So she has a double jointed knee. So she can, she's super, super posable. And she does, the only thing she comes with is her doll stand. Which, you know, thank God Mattel put doll stands with these dolls. I can't even imagine if they tried to do this, put these dolls out with doll stands. Little kids would be going nuts. Collectors would be pissed. Um, but yeah, I'm glad they, they did these monster-sized, <laughs> bad pun, um, with them. They're just like normal Monster High stands. Just embossed with Monster High and the little designs. Her shoes are amazing. And now if you like buy multiples of her, hey, new clothes for Goliope at least. <laughs> Same body. She has the um, under breast jointing. Um, she has the double jointed arms. Joint and her head can move from side to side, up and down. Just like a normal Monster High doll, double jointed knees, no joining in the ankles like normal, um, not like the guy doll, the male dolls. Um, jointed at the wrist, elbow. The wrist is not double jointed. 
Um, beautiful detailing on her hands. Her stitches are done in the metallic. Her bolts are just the matte. She's not like the fancy dolls. But like I said, her face is uh, a little bit different from the Wave 1 doll. She has more of a candy apple red lip, and her eyebrows are a bit lighter. Her eyes are um, just a little bit brighter of a color than the, than the um, original doll. Her, the yoke on her dress right here is still a really pretty satin, really soft. Uh, she's got her necktie with a little skullhead on it. Same dress. It's like um, her dress is actually a brighter color than the normal doll. Same kind of belt um, as the normal Frankie with her little lightning bolt and everything. Absolutely amazing doll. Um, I'm I'm supposed to be getting uh, Claudine is supposed to be here tomorrow, and I'm gonna show you guys her. I'm actually really excited for Claudine, and Claudine's not even one of my favorite characters, but the doll looks amazing. Um, you can find these dolls also, um, if you go on to Facebook, there's a, there's a Facebook page called the One Stop, or Monster High One Stop Shop. Um, they're based out of the UK, but they ship worldwide. Um, you guys can find them there. I believe they, I believe they are 39 through them as well, but they ship really fast and they're incredibly nice people. I mean, I've talked to them on Facebook many times and they're just amazing um, I know you can get them at other a couple other websites um, but personally if I were to buy them I'd either go through Amazon or through the Monster High One Stop Shop on Facebook but god these are just amazing they're just amazing I really really hope Mattel I really hope you do the other ghouls because I would kill for an operetta in 17 because operetta she she's my goal i have i have a i think i have like 20 something operettas in my collection over 20 um i used to have them all grouped together in like one big display case or one big display area of all my operettas i can't help i i will buy multiples of the exact same doll and just redress operetta she's just she's just my favorite please mattel do operetta in 17 inch Plus, um, do all the other ghouls. Ooh, and imagine if they did like an 18 or a 19 inch boy doll. Oh my god. Like, we need a Holt Hyde, a Jackson Jekyll, and a Claude Wolf in like a 19 or 20 inch doll. That would be so amazing. Uh, Garrett, I know you, you'll never see this, but Mattel, anybody, Garrett Sander, the, guy, the gentleman who's responsible for Monster High. Please do a Monster High Boy doll. Please do an Operetta. Please do all the other ghouls. Um, as you guys have know, these larger size dolls are insanely popular. Um, I bet Mattel did not think that these dolls would be this this popular, but they are they are sought after. People love them. Um, they're like they're like the I don't, know how to, I don't want to say it like this because it sounds rude, but they're like the poor man's ball joint dolls, or Asian ball joint dolls. Um, you know, they're super poseable. It's easier to dress them. They can wear, um, if you have Barbie clothes, they can wear Barbie outfits. Um, mostly her dresses, stretchy stuff. Stretchy Barbie clothes are your friend. If it's a ball gown on Barbie, it's going to be probably, like, mid shin to knee length if it's like a barbie um mini skirt boom t-shirt for your monster high doll if you have uh jeans that will fit like oh i don't know i know certain pants will fit fit them um but you're not going to want them to sit down because you know we'll have the normal problem with Barbie clothes and other doll clothes, if they're pants and they fasten in the back, they're going to sag down and their butt will hang out and the back of the pants will, you know, pop open. Common problem. But, um, yeah, I thought maybe they they could wear super-sized Barbie clothes, super-sized Barbie from the, seven, from the 70s by Mattel. She was an um, 18-inch Barbie. Um, they are actually, those clothes are actually way too big on these dolls. 
that was when Barbie was still uh, very ample in the in the bosom, and she she had a little teeny tiny waist, and the shoes will definitely not fit her because the 18 inch Barbies from the 70s and super size Barbies, they did not have a killer arch like this. They had more of a she wore more of like a, a mule so it was like a lot lower of a heel but yeah check it out guys get yourself a gorgeous a frightfully tall monster high doll um, if you're looking for them on Amazon do not put in frightfully tall you will not find it you have to put in monster high 17 inch tall 17 inch doll or monster high big doll tall doll Think of every other like way of saying it other than frightfully tall ghoul, because it will not come up. I found that out, and a bunch of other people found it out. You have to go kind of a roundabout way of finding it, but you will find them, because these girls are incredibly hard to find in store. Um, I know Chad Allen found them at a Myers, um, where he lives. I'm in Northern California. We don't have Myers. We have Toys R Us, Walmart, and Target. And a couple other other places, but we do not have them at Toys R Us, Target, or Walmart in California yet that I have found anyway, and I've been looking. The next big doll I will be getting, um, I will hopefully be sharing with you, is the 28 inch. That's right, 28 inch Walmart exclusive, gorgeous ghoul monster high doll. She's um, Monster High, but she's um, uh, Mattel um, had them made by Just Play Toys. She's from Walmart. She's like the styling head doll. She's like a styling head, but she's actually a full doll. She's 28 inches tall. Her eyes, you push a button on the back of her head and her eyes will flip forward and her eyes will change color. She comes with face masks. When I get here, I'll show you guys. She's awesome. Um, people are a little annoyed with them because they look like they have a jointed knee, but her leg is one solid piece. So she's meant. She's not meant as a collector doll. She's meant for kids. And she's not come with a stand. But I'm going to get her. Um, there's two versions, and I will share. All right. Love you guys.